Okay, uh, welcome again. This is Tiger Shack from the ED Farms, and uh, I'm here to show you part three of the three part series on how to build your own panel. Just a reminder this is the panel that we want to build. However, what I'm going to show you today is how to rig up what's basically my prototype model. Um, when you open up the, uh, the, your enclosure, when you have your toggle switches, you're going to have all these, uh, these are double throw switches, so they have three, uh, three connections. What you're going to need to do is you're going to have to make sure that you ground every middle pin together. So solder all these ones together, and then have one final one going to ground. Same with these switches here. And then you want to connect one wire from each one of the switch positions to your Game Gear Pro, uh, to your, sorry, Groovy Game Gear interface board. Just to show you how that really works, I've got this plugged in at the moment. What I've done is I've mounted the uh, Groovy Game Gear board to the uh, bottom of the of the enclosure there. You can see already one wire has come loose there, so one, one isn't going to work. But uh, basically what I'm doing is taking one wire, so an orange one, goes to one connection on the Groovy Game Gear board. Because I'm running a LED, I'm also using this red wire here to power the LED. That's just something for later on. But there's also here, this is the ground wire. There's a connection on the Groovy Game Gear board called ground. You need to feed that to one of the switches, and then you need to connect the middle part of every other switch to each other. You know, the Groovy Game Gear people, they give good instructions with their stuff. But basically, you can see here that this green wire, it's connecting these two switches, then this switch is connected to this switch, this switch is connected to that switch, this one's connected to that one, this one's connected to the push button, and finally the push button switch is connected to this green wire here. So although you have to run a wire from each one of your switches, button one, button two, button three, button four, to the Groovy Game Gear board, the middle one, which is ground, they all need to connect with each other until the final one which connects to your Groovy Game Gear board. Look it's not, uh, I realize this not, might not be the simplest thing, these are just screw things so all I did was just use a screwdriver to screw all these wires together, no soldering involved except for the lead but you don't need to, of course you don't need to have a lead in your, uh, your, your uh, game panel, control panel. Um, but uh, it's very easy, now you can see here Already one of these wires has come loose, and it's come loose from here, this connection here. This is one of the buttons. So all these wires here go to buttons, this goes to plus 5 volts, this goes to ground, and it's very, very easy to wire up. I, uh, the hardest part is, is drilling holes in your enclosure and, uh, and mounting the board, but wiring stuff is quite easy. You can see this is quite tight, you can see there's quite a bit of tension on the, on the board. I would recommend that you at least give plenty of room, plenty of wire between uh, the connections so that you can open the box without having to do what I'm doing here, which is kind of juggle a little bit. So, uh, so there you go. Um, any questions, post in the forums, post on the YouTube channel. I'd be happy to answer. See ya.